Hello everybody and welcome back to the United Stand and today's video is a positive one. It's a positive one, it's one for the fans as well and it is to give Garnacho time. This kid is 18 years old and he is going to be something special and all Manchester United fans need to give this guy time. After the Leeds game, I saw a lot of people giving Alejandro Garnacho some stick about his performance. First of all, I didn't even think it was poor. I thought it wasn't great, but I didn't think it was poor. And second of all, you cannot expect an 18-year-old youth product to come in and start crucial games for Man United in a derby against Leeds that were very, very high pressing, very, very up for the game and consistently have the best game that he's had. I think people expect a lot from Garnacho and they should expect a lot because he's going to be an amazing player and he is an amazing talent. But people need to nurture and protect this player. People need to give this player confidence and we also need to be patient not every player comes onto the scene and is a finished article straight away. This player is raw and he's extremely talented and he reminds me of other players that we've seen first come onto the scene and struggle a little bit and then they become the amazing player because all the talent is there and he's proved it already at his time at Manchester United so far, how good he can be and I think that that is why the added pressure is on now and when he doesn't have the best game of his life, people are kind of on it straight away because people know how good this kid can be. But the main takeaway is we have to give him time, we have to develop him, we have to give him confidence. He's one of our own from the academy and he's from the academy. I know we bought him from Atletico, but he still came through the academy. And Eric Ten Hag is doing a brilliant job with him. And I think the game against Leeds proved exactly why Eric Ten Hag is doing a great job. He's nurturing him to a team. He had to start him. His hand was forced. Sancho wasn't fit enough and we didn't have Anthony. His hand was forced to start him. And maybe it shows that we should just be giving him minutes off the bench right now and, and boosting his confidence and eventually he can become that starter and star player for us. But I want to take you back to a time when Manchester United had an 18-year-old tricky winger who had the world at his feet and it is, of course, Cristiano Ronaldo. We all remember Cristiano Ronaldo in his first season at Manchester United and a lot of people got frustrated. Frustrated with the stepovers, frustrated with the skills, frustrated into losing the ball a lot instead of making the final pass, frustrated with the final product and Alejandro Garnacho reminds me exactly of this young talent and you can see them together just there. I mean, he's already taken over the song, Viva Garnacho, Viva Ronaldo, Viva Garnacho. And I think he's going to follow in his footsteps as well. And that's a bold thing to say. And that's, for me, I don't just come out and say, I think this player has the same trajectory as Ronaldo. I think Garnacho has immense talent and that is a big thing to say and that is credit to Garnacho and how talented he is but they have a lot of similarities is what I want to get at. Alejandro Garnacho is very direct, he's brilliant at dribbling, he loves to go at players and occasionally he can lose the ball but that's why we love him so much. We love the fact he loves to go at players, he, we love the fact he scares defenders and he's a player the same as Cristiano Ronaldo when he first came to Manchester United that gets you off your seat and you know something is going to come when this kid starts running at a defender. He's so direct with it and it's so different to anything that we have. Rashford is similar but I think Garnacho, the way that he can go each and every single way and twist and turn defenders is something that's really exciting. He has the skills, he has the confidence. I saw him yesterday trying to get the crowd up. We love that, especially when someone first comes into the scene and we don't want to kill that confidence off. But the reason I bring Ronaldo up as well is because remember Ronaldo in his first season? In Ronaldo's first season, 29 Premier League games and he had four goals and four assists at 18 years old. Alejandro Garnacho, as you can see there, 11 games, one goal and two assists. So, to be honest with you, considering the amount of games Ronaldo had and the amount of games Garnacho is playing, it is not a bad road to be on. And honestly, I saw something before as well that was saying when Vinicius Jr. first came onto the scene, when he was young and in his teenage years, a lot of the times he would run at defenders and things wouldn't pay off. He'd be doing skills and, and it wouldn't pay off. With Garnacho, it's paying off. It's not paying off every time. The final decision-making can 100% be better. But one goal and two assists, and also you've got to remember the goal in the Europa League against Sociedad as well, is not bad considering the appearance he's having off the bench and, and the impact he is having when he's coming off the bench and having, and, and having them appearances. And, you know, sometimes it just clicks like it did with Cristiano Ronaldo after that season and you end up flying. Ronaldo learned when to pass the ball. He learned when to shoot. His final decision making massively improved and I mean the rest was history of um, Cristiano Ronaldo and I think the same could be with Alejandro Garnacho. All of the basics are there. 
they are all there and, and, and I want to get into that. But the first thing I want to say about Alejandro Ganacho is he's come up with some crucial goals and assists this season for us. And I think that's the most important thing when you think about the mentality of a player. I mean, against Manchester City, he essentially won us the derby with that pass through into Rashford. The way he twisted and turned away from the defender was absolutely excellent. And these are world-class defenders we're talking about in Manchester City. Manchester City this season maybe haven't been as good, but they're still second in the Premier League and have been the best team in the world for quite a number of years now. So... Alejandro Ganacho getting that crucial assist. Also at Fulham, if you remember at Fulham, when he interchanged with Christian Eriksen in order to score the winning goal that saved us from only a point, he managed to get us three points over the line. Against Sociedad in the Europa League, a really important game we needed to win. He kicked it off, scoring the opening goal away in a stadium that we know is really hard to score in. Ne ne I mean, playing, never mind scoring. And he went and scored that goal. You can see that the kind of hunger is there, the mentality is there, the confidence is there. And that's something we don't want to take away because he has it in abundance. He has that slight bit of arrogance, but that's how you're going to score the goals. And I really like that about him. He's not only just coming on when he's like 3-0 up, and getting a goal then and, and kind of, you know, when Manchester United are comfortable, he's coming on and making a massive impact and actually changing games for us. He has been a game changer. And at 18 years old, when Eric Ten Hag can look to the bench and think, how do we win this game? And he decides to bring on Alejandro Garnacho, that shows the potential that this kid has. So that's something that we can be really excited about. And also, when we talk about that carries from the youth team up, he won the player of the year in the youth team in the 2021 season and he also was the reason that Manchester United won the FA Youth Cup for the first time since Lingard and Pogba won that trophy when we had that class of players in Ravel Morrison and, and, and players like that so Alejandro Ganacho scored two goals in a full packed Old Trafford I was there I was watching he scored a penalty that was crucial at that moment in time as it was one all in the cup and then he went on and scored a third goal as well he dribbling and skills ended up deflecting in but the confidence was oozing out of him he was kind of he was getting the crowd off their seat then so this player is he, he can do it in big moments and that was a big moment to to seal the FA Youth Cup for Manchester United so you can see kind of the way he's building his career and the potential that he has but talking about the strengths of Alejandro Garnacho, obviously dribbling is a massive massive strength for Garnacho. he goes at players, he goes past players, he goes inside, he goes outside. It is the defender's worst nightmare and we've seen that so far this season. We've seen it against any opposition. He can go at them and he can get past them. Is he going to do it every single time when he first comes onto the scene? No. And you can't expect him to do that. But does he get you off the edge of the seat? Does he make it exciting? Do I get excited when I watch Gan actually play football at Old Trafford? Do you see the... The crowd lifting as soon as he gets the ball and he starts to go at play is absolutely. But that isn't the only strength he has. His directness is massively key. He also is very technically good on the ball and he's good at receiving the ball in tight spaces on the touchline and he can wiggle his way out of players and use skills and he's very, very good first touch to do so. I mean, I've seen him kill a ball in the most unlikely scenarios. You've seen him when his first touch is absolutely unreal. So that is a really important factor for Manchester United as it brings fullbacks into play. Fullbacks can make runs and they can receive the ball and he can find them in tight spaces and that's massively important for the team but also in creating team goals. We've seen he's comfortable coming short for passes and comfortable in one-two touch situations. We created a game such as, sorry, we created a goal such as the Marcus Rashford goal against Palace that way and it was such a nice goal that second goal against Palace and Garnacho was banging the centre of that working with Shaw which is really important. Him and Shaw have started to create a really nice little dynamic dynamic there on that left hand side and he's really good at kind of weaving in and outside of the players and that's such an important kind of role for Ganacho as well and another point that he's really good at is when he loses the ball he's high press he's quick to go and get that ball back so Ganacho for me whenever I see him lose the ball which it can be quite often because that's kind of He's still kind of got that in his locker. He goes and wins it back. He can go and press players. His energy is unmatched, as it should be at 18 years old. But sometimes you see wingers come in off from the youth team and they're not me, they're very, they're quite naive. And sometimes you don't know how to get back into shape so quickly. Sometimes when they lose the ball, the head goes down, they don't go straight away to get it back. Garnacho is always on the hunt to go and help the team and get the ball back. And as well, a great passer of the ball. He can be greedy sometimes cutting in and shooting, but he's got his assist for a reason and he does get his head up and look for a pass a lot of time and manages to find it as well. 
We know predominantly on the left-hand side is where he likes to play, but he's also had an assist from the right-hand side so far this season. Of course, this player can improve. There's improvements that can be made. Final decision-making and final decision in the final third is what he needs to improve with Garnacho. Sometimes the final decision isn't quite there, but what do you honestly expect? 18 years old, coming on and playing at Old Trafford for Manchester United, to scoring, deci scoring decisive goals, being involved in play that de scores decisive goals, and ultimately making the team, I think, when he's come on in games, better and look more fluid and look hungrier to go and get that final goal. He's a really important part of Eric Ten Hag's plans. And like Eric Ten Hag said himself, sometimes in the transfer window, ch plans change because you see different players come through. And Garnacho has changed Eric Ten Hag's plans for the summer. Eric Ten Hag knows what type of player he's got on his hands. And I trust no one else to build Garnacho the way that Eric Ten Hag no, I know that Eric Ten Hag will. He's doing it with Rashford now. Obviously, he's a slight, uh, slightly older product. He's doing it with Sancho. And I'm absolutely sure Garnacho will flourish under Eric Ten Hag. So my message to you is not to worry. We've got an amazing talent on our hands and he's going to flourish. And I think he can be anything he wants to be. So everyone, give Garnacho time. Give him confidence. And just be the fan base that we know that we can be with our youth, with our youth academy. I mean, being in the company of Skulls, Rashford, Giggs, Wes Brown for Player of the Year. We know that the potential and the future is bright. But look, thank you everyone for watching this video, getting your comments, what you think about Garnacho down below. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.